Hello and welcome to a new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to be looking at how to set up a Nanostation AC as an access point. In a previous video I published last week, we we took a look at how to set up a Powerbeam AC as a CPE client in a multi-station device network. So that's, that means a, a access point on AMAX AC with multiple stations because the process is a little bit different. In this video we're going to be setting up the Nanostation AC as an AMAX AC access point and running through the config process from start to finish. We're also going to have a look at how to wire up the peer injector setup if you're using it in that configuration in your deployment. So I have the nice station AC here. Let's remove the cover. You can see there are two Ethernet ports. The one on the left is for peer we out. The one on the right is for peer we in. Peer we injector, 24 volts. Peer we with the red symbol. So I plug an Ethernet cable into the port with the red symbol on it and plug that into the main Ethernet port on the NAS station. Ethernet cable will go to the network switch or your laptop. For this configuration, the initial configuration, it will go into your laptop's Ethernet port. And the power cord as well. It's a little cloverleaf power cord. So now everything is wired up correctly, we're now going to have a look at how to set up the static IP address on a Mac OS device. So first, go to System Settings, then across to Network, then across to Ethernet, and if you click on Details, and then TCP slash IP, you can change the IP mode for your device. At the moment, it comes default with using DHCP. If you set it to manually, and then you can set a static IP address on your device. The Nanostation AC has a default IP address of 192.168 dot one dot twenty and you can set a IP address within that slash twenty four subnet and you're about to log into the, the now station. I'm going to set an IP address on my device of one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot five with a subnet mask of two five five two five five two five five dot zero. So on Windows you go to the start menu and then to settings and then you need to go to network and internet and you've got Ethernet settings here. So on Ethernet, you set the network to IP assignment, you've got automatic DHCP. If you set this to manual, and you can see IPv4, and you can put the IP address in here, put 192.168.1.5.255.255.255.0, press save. There is another way of setting the IP address on Windows. So if you're using Windows 10, you'll need to go to the control panel. and go to network and internet again, and then network and sharing center. And then you wanna go across to change adapter settings. And you've got ethernet here. So you wanna right click on that, press properties. And then in this section, you'll see internet protocol version four, TCP IV, IPv4. Double click on IPv4, and you can see you'll need, it'll be set to obtain automatically by default. And you wanna go use following IP address, and then you can enter in your IP address that you've got, that you need to enter to get into the radio. Next, open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to 192.168.1.20. You'll get a certificate warning in some browsers. Click on show details, visit, visit this website, and then you'll be able to set up the device. So we're gonna now pick a device country. Mine is United Kingdom. Language is English by default. Agree to the terms and press continue. Pick a username and password. I'm gonna pick UBNT, and I'm gonna pick a strong password. Next, you're logged into AeroS 8. I set this device up a few weeks ago and updated the software to 8.7.11 firmware. As of this recording, this is the latest version available for Aero S8. To set this up as an access point, go to Wireless tab. And by default, the device comes in point-to-point -point mode as default, as a station device. Untick that and click on Access Point and you'll get some of the menu will change. Set the channel width to something more appropriate than 40 MHz, as 20 MHz. You can also pick a new frequency. I'm going to pick 5240. I'm going to set the SSID as per my template from the last video. So on my template, it says the SSID is Hostify Test and the WPA2 key is Hostify Password. So if we go back to the, the now station now, we can now set those details as Hostify Test and then Hostify Pass. Word. 
press save. And then what I'm going to do now is power up the power beam that I used in the last video and wait for that to connect. So now the power beam is plugged in and powered up, it's now connected to the Nano Station AP. We now have two sections of signal levels to view. On the left hand side is the access point, because this is, this is the device I am now logged into. And on the right hand side is the station. If we had more than one station, you would get multiple uh, devices in the drop down here to view. So we can see here that the frequency is the same on both ends, because this is connected to this one. The signal, signal level as well, I've got these in the same room, and they're rel relatively close to each other, so if they do fluctuate the chain levels, uh, it's just because they're so close. And then the, the table down below is filled in as well. Uh, with, you can view the firmware version of each, each end, how long it's been connected, the powered uptime, memory, and different stats. There's also now an extra option. Uh, the Airview one is still grayed out for some strange reason. Uh, but we have the Constellation. So this will give us a, a pictorial view of the how each radio sees each other. So this is, this is what we are looking for, a very tight uh, circle that is moving around. If this one here is more scattered around, it just means there's more noise, which we can see here that the power is jumping up a little, around a little bit. There is some more information here under the more details. So we can view the ARP table, bridge table routes, and the DHCP client as well. So if, if this if this nano station was on, if this nano station was plugged into a, net, a network that offered DHCP, we'd be able to view the lease and all the other information. Got the routes out to the internet and the bridge as well. Okay, that's a look how to set up an MX AC device as an access point in use with multiple stations connected. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. You can learn more about Hostify at hostify.com. You can contact the team at support at hostify.com and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.